Hey everyone, welcome back to Bulldog TV for the 2023-24 year. I'm Riley Keeble. And I'm Addison Duval. We'll start off today's show with Maricela, who has this week's weather. My name is Marcella Moreta. The weather for this week is going to be like all the other days, extremely hot, just like last week. The hottest it will get all week is 104 with a low of 79. All the other days are 102 with a low of 78. There is no chance of rain. Next week will be in the high 90s and we will get a little relief from the heat. Stay hydrated and cool. That's your weather for the week. Back to you. Typical Oklahoma weather. Hopefully it cools off soon. Thank you, Marcella. Starting off the school year, we have a ton of new faces, including new teachers. Lainey Harris has more coverage. Thanks, guys. My name is Lainey Harris. On behalf of all the students, I would like to welcome all the new teachers to the school. Today, we are here talking with Coach Schmidt, the new multimedia and head softball coach. Are you excited to be here? I am. <laughs> um, it's been awesome so far. So, yeah. What brought you to Minko? Um, I knew some people here already. I've heard great things about the school and all the staff and the students are pretty cool. Some of them, <laughs> not really you, but yeah. Um, yeah, I've loved it so far. Great. Thank you, Coach Schmidt. Yeah, thank you. Now we're here with Coach Ben. She's a chemistry and physical science teacher and assistant softball coach. So, what brought you to Miko? Uh, Coach Schmidt actually brought me to Miko. <laughs> Are you excited to be here? Yeah, I'm really excited to be here. It's a great school and a great community. Perfect. How have you liked being here so far? I've liked it a lot. Everybody's been very nice and accepting and extremely professional. Thank you, Coach Binge, for talking with us. We also have lots of other new teachers coming with interviews soon. Sending it back to you guys. Thanks, Lainey. Not only do we have new teachers, Minko is also hosting a couple of foreign exchange students this year. Brooklyn Teal is interviewing one of them now. Hi, my name is Brooklyn Teal, and we would like to welcome our new foreign exchange students to Minko. So, what is your name? Uh, my name is Adele. Where are you from? Uh, I'm from Maine, France. And what are you most excited for at Miko? Uh, I'm very excited because it is a beautiful city and a lot of people are very nice with me. There you are. <laughs> wow, that's so interesting. Continuing with new faces this year, Miko Schools has a resource officer. Now we're sending it to Casey Bowman who had the opportunity to speak with him. Hi, my name is Casey Bowman and today I'm introducing Officer Villard. So how long have you been doing this? Since 2002. What is your favorite part about Minko so far? I really like the atmosphere. I like the community. I like our students. I like being around you guys. You guys are great kids. That's great. And lastly, what is your favorite story? I have a ton of stories. I don't think we have enough film for my stories. But one of my favorite stories is uh, we had an incident where I got to help a student out who was having an issue. That's what I like to do here is help people. That's awesome. Well, thank you for your time. Appreciate you. That's so cool. We've never had a resource officer before. Now it's time for the weekly sports report with Caden Brown. Hey, I'm Caden Brown and sports are in full swing here at Minko this August. The softball teams are busy. At the time of this taping, the record is 8-5 and five, and they are 1-0 and in district play. They have a big week with some more district games. Our cross-country squad took part in the Mustang meet this past week and football kicked off their season last Friday versus Dibble. And we have a special guest, senior Eli Kirk, is joining us. Eli, what are you looking forward to this final season for you? Well, obviously a gold ball uh, district championship <laughs> would be nice, too, if we could have that under our belt. Yeah. What are your expectations for this team this year? Obviously state championship and just coming together. You know, unity, that's one of our big goals this year. So. Yep. And what are your plans after high school? I uh, plan on going to play college football somewhere, uh, pursuing a coaching career, maybe even go on to the NFL level, but that's kind of a hard place to make it. So, yeah. Yep. Yep. Right. Thanks for joining us, Eli. This is Bulldog Sports. Back to you. Thanks, Caden, and good job to all our sports teams. Don't forget to stay hydrated in this heat. For our last story of the day, we know FFA is always busy in the fall. Brody Thiessen has more on that. Hey guys, my name is Brody Thiessen. I am reporting on the FFA and Ag. Some things that happened this past week were we had the back to school bash this past Tuesday, and then this past weekend we also had the Grady County Olympics and show. This week we will see who all placed in the show, and that's all I got for you. Back to you guys. Well, that's some exciting news. And don't forget the blood drive is this Tuesday, August 29th. And the first FCCLA meeting of the year is this Friday, September 1st. Thanks for joining us. And to make sure to tune in every week for a new video.